Yeah, fucking spiders. <laughs> hey all, and welcome back to another Monkey in the Wild. It's been a while. I have been out. I have gotten several photos, several bits of footage, all kinds of neat stuff practicing with this uh, Lumix S52X with various lenses. If you watch my last Devious Monkey video, which I just posted yesterday, I told you about how I've gone through and tried every possible setting on the various lenses, different times of day, different places, sunlight, overcast, night, office, truck, you name it. Today, I thought I'd come out here because it was a bright sunny day earlier today, but then the sun went away and it's been cloudy and overcast for a while now. Once I finished up with my team call, I made us dinner and then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna see if I can't get something at the end of the day. I will say that getting the 70 to 300 lens has definitely made a big difference because I was shooting with the 24 to 105 and I was doing that off the Lesnar Bridge trying to get the Osprey slamming into the water and it just wasn't quite enough. And then when I was using this, the 70 to 300, it was much better, but even the 300 was too close for some of the action and I had to, I had to go out probably to 200. At this point now, I got rid of most of my Sony gear, like all my G Master lenses and everything, so I just don't need them because those were mainly for portrait type shit. And I'm sticking with my A6700 and the Sigma 500 millimeter F5.6. I'm getting bangers with these things, man. It's very light, which is good for me and my broke dick back and my aching shoulders and everything and my, like, I think arthritic hands. I think that this was a success. I got some pretty good footage and a bunch of good pictures and, you know, I'm outside. It got up to like 85 degrees today. It's not 85 now, it's maybe 78 to 80 because it's November 1st and it's not supposed to be that warm, you know? Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to do today was to just keep testing what gear I have left uh, because I think I've pared it down to exactly what I need for doing what I do now. Okay, so here you can see very low tide. There's no freaking water out here. I mean, there's a couple of birds here and there. There's an egret out there, but no water. Okay, I walked all the way down here to the edge and he didn't like it. So he flew away to the other side. This e-stabilization is unfreaking believable. They're such patient hunters. And I will not stop talking about how amazing this e stabilization is. The water obviously is very low right now. So, don't know how much I'm gonna get. It seems like now every time I come here, our little Osprey friend is sitting in this tree. The master of all he surveys. So at this point now, uh, I've been traipsing through the woods in my shorts and my shorts leaf shirt here, and I feel itchy. So I'm gonna get the hell out of here. As I'm fond of telling you, get up, get off your ass, get out of the house, go take a walk, go enjoy nature. You don't have to take any pictures. You don't have to take any video, but just get out there and enjoy mother nature whilst you can, because if you can't, it sucks. And I know that firsthand. So get out there and enjoy yourself and hopefully, I can keep doing these until it starts to get shitty out and hopefully you'll come along. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.